Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. In this lecture, I'll be discussing about the rack parameter file. You know about the parameter file. There are two type of parameter files are there. We have a SP file is there and we have text file is there. SP file is, is which is our binary file and P file which is our text file. But how it will work in the rack architecture because in the rack we have a multiple instances are there. So obviously the structure and let's say you want to make some changes to the parameter file. There will be definitely some of the changes will be there, right? So how it is going to happen in the rack databases that is what we are going to learn with this video. But before I show you practically again my request is please do like subscribe and share this channel. And I'm going to start my new batch in next two, three days. If you are interested to join this completely real time database training, you can reach out to me via email or mobile number. All the details are there in the description section. Again, you can also subscribe to this channel so that you will get a lot of free content and I'm daily uploading more and more things. So let's get and let's try to understand how the architecture of your parameter file looks like into the rack database. So in the rack database, we will have a multiple nodes will be there. Let's say this is my node one. This is my node one. And I have another node is there, which is my node two. Every node is having their own instance will be there. So your instance will be running from here, which is my instance one. And this is my instance two. And we have a shared storage is there, which is shared by your both the instances. Okay, both the instance or both the node will share this storage part. Now we are going to discuss about the parameter file where our parameter file is going to be reside. Our parameter file is going to be reside into this shared storage. This is my storage, which is my storage and it is shared by both the instances. It means the instance one and instance two, both the instance will use this shared SP file, which is available in the shared storage itself. Now what will happen? Let's say I want to make some changes into the parameter file. Obviously we will do some changes. We have a different, different parameter are there in the parameter file and I want to change it. Let's take an example. Like I want to change it from parameter called processes is there and the default process count is 300. I want to change it from 300 to 400. Now there will be a question in your mind that from where we should change this process count because process count, we can change it from node one or node two. Somewhere we need to connect to the Oracle database. So whether this changes in the parameter file will be happening on instance level or on database level because we have a multiple instances are there. This is instance number one and in this instance number two. So basically what happened, there is a difference between single instance database and rack database with respect to the processes also with respect to the parameter also. So earlier, if you want to change a parameter, we were using a command like alter system set processes equals to new process. Let's say my new process is 400 and we were using scope equals to SP file. So these changes will be happened to the SP file. But now we are adding one more thing over here in the rack database. SID equals to star. What is mean by star? Star means the changes is going to be happen on instance number one also and instance number two also. If you say SID equals to star, then the changes will happen to the both instances, instance number one and instance number two. Now let's assume that some of the changes you don't want to change it from the instance, both the instances, some of the changes you don't want to happen it on both the instance level. You want to happen it on instance number one only. So you can say that SID equals to instance number one, instance one. So it will only get changed over here. And when you say star, it will get changed to the both the location. 
let's see it practically we'll take this one example and we'll try to understand practically what i'm doing right now i'm just connecting to the node one this is my node one let me connect to the node one so i'm just connecting like this and i'm checking what is the value of one parameter show parameter the parameter name is case sensitive logon when i'm checking it from the node number one i can see the value is true let me check the value on node number two also i'm connecting to the sql plus utility and here also it is showing it as true now let me do one thing let me change this parameter from true to false on both the node instances so i will simply use a command ultra system set this parameter equals to false scope equals to both because it is a dynamic parameter and then i'm going to say like sid equals to star so i'm changing this parameter from true to false on both the instance level done let me check it one more time whether it has been reflected to both the instances or not so you can see that it is false now let me fire the same command on my node 2 here also i can see it is false what we understood from here the changes has been happened to both the node when i said sid equals to star star means in both the instance level the changes needs to be happened assume that i want to change this sec case sensitive logon parameter to true only on node 1 so i'll fire the same command i'll say true but this time what i will do i'll say sid equals to rack 1 which is my first instance i'm specifying explicitly that i want to make these changes to the rack 1 now when i'm checking it on the rack 1 it has become true but when i'm checking it on the rack 2 it is still false it means the changes has been implemented only on instance level instance number one or instance number two but there are some of the parameters are there which which needs to be unique it means if you cannot change it like instance name the instance name should be here also and there also okay so we need to discuss about more and more things which i will discuss in the next lecture i hope you have understood the concept if you still have any issues anything you can put it in the comment section and if you are looking for real-time database training you can definitely reach out to me thank you so much bye bye and please don't forget to subscribe this channel you'll get a lot of new contents over here bye bye